Hi everyone, uh, today's it's Thursday, September 11, 2014. Uh, I just want to give everybody a quick update on the, some of the plants. Uh, here, what you're looking at here are my, one of my passion fruit. Uh, and finally, my passion fruit have spread out uh, from the left, well I call it, this is the left side, about 18 feet. Okay, each pose from this center pose here to this pose, that's 6 feet. From that, that's six feet, and then all through the end, that's six feet. So that's 18 feet. And then on the, my right hand side, uh, it's also 18 feet. So total 36 feet. And I got some fruit out of this already. I only, like I said, I only planted this only several months ago. And I did not go out here and hand pollinate any of this. But today, uh, I really want to show everybody the really beautiful, interesting flowers. And let me see if I can show you the. Um, flowers and let's go over some of one of some of the uh, parts that make up the male and the female flowers because passion fruit do contain both male and female parts uh, the reproductive parts okay so here's the, the fruit well, quite beautiful I don't know if my camera can actually uh, zoom in here uh, of course the the top here what you see here are the pistol that's the female female parts okay the female contain uh, this is a stigma that's the female part and of course on the bottom all the way at the bottom here it's the it's the oval okay and the male part it's called the stamen and it contains the antler this is right here that's where the pollen's at okay that's where the pollen's at hopefully my camera can pick up and from then from there that's where you want to um, touch the pollen and it will spin look at that this is very wonderful look this thing will spin around circle I hope my camera can pick this up okay so you want to touch it at the bottom there and as you can see I don't know if my camera can pick it up uh, there's some dots there and from there you can touch on here and that's where and I will touch all three of them okay so it can so passion fruit this variety contains three uh, stigma that that's the female part and it contain, let me after it contain one and third one two three four one, two, three, four, five. Five, ether, ether. So here from here, again. And then I will take this, I will take this uh, pollen and go to another different flower and try to cross pollinate them. So here's another, here's another uh, stigma here. So I'm trying to pollinate this guy too. There you go. So I see the pollen actually stick to it. Like I say, hopefully my camera can pick up. Here's the anther again. Here you go. Okay, so the bottom here. And it's spin around. It's really cool. Look at this. I don't know if my camera can pick it up. It's spin around like, like crazy. Like, like it's going to fall off, but it's not falling off. And all those below that, all oh, this pollen is sticking on my brush. See that? I don't know. My brush and my camera is not very good. So here I try and do the back one too. There's another flower in the back. So here, try cross pollinate them uh, like I say I got several fruits already uh, I harvest them they take they very very good fruit very sweet the aroma is just absolutely wonderful uh, it's good to make drinks from them okay so here you go again uh, I'm trying to film this with my left hand and my right hand I'm doing this I hope hopefully I can capture something here okay so that's that's how I do it uh, I guess there's a plenty of video better than mine <laughs> because it's very hard for me to film this on my own with one hand. My hand's gonna get a little tired, and the other hand trying to focus the camera. So, okay, so here we go again. So, the flower is beautiful. Uh, I see a lot of flowers. Uh, this plant, I, I, I grow this plant here several months ago, like I say. Uh, but you can see all the side shoots are coming now, and that's where a lot of plenty of flowers. Look at this one. I think this one, this one is closing in, I think. But look at all these flowers here. Look at this one here, here. So there are about a dozen flowers here, uh, and hopefully I will get some more fruit. And a lot of side shoot, a passion fruit uh, vines are very prolific, so they can grow very, very, very dense. Um, they are perennial, so they grow evergreen, so they can grow throughout the year. And hopefully, 
uh, by next year I'll have this entire yard uh, covered. Uh, my entire yard will be fenced up at least five feet with all with, with the passion fruit vine. That would be wonderful. And uh, so I'm, I'm looking at my house or my garage here from the outside, from the street point of view. And all this gravel here you see here is my front yard. Okay, so let me give you another shot. Let me see this side. On my left side, I don't see no flowers. Uh, oh yeah, I do. Here, here's a flower right there. So this is some flower in here. It's very difficult to spot them. Once they open up, oh, actually there's a fruit here. Look at this. Wow, this is a good, decent sized fruit. Beautiful fruit here. Look at that. Okay. Okay, so, uh, so thank you for watching and please post a comment. I know that my, my video and when I framed this wasn't too good, uh, but, but hopefully you get the ideas and plenty of people have better uh, quality video than I do. So hopefully uh, you get some information out of this and you can watch other video too. Okay, so thank you for watching and please uh, post a comment for me and uh, thank you.